Alrighty. I haven't watched this yet. Let's check it out. Oh my god. That is really loud for my ears. Hold on, I gotta put this down. Oh my god. Actually, what would really help me is after critiques, if you tell me which parts are helpful or not. Because like my first instinct is okay, let me check the feet. Is there something where you have offset in the in the orientation, which you do, we can see this. But then is that too picky? Like, do you need to know that? Seems like you have a bit of squash in there or something. Like, oh, that's cool. Is that something that is important or not? Like my main things I would mention are things like this. When you got double arm poses, kind of twins. There's a bit of an, a frame offset there, but overall. Oh my goodness, you're here. Like this could be a bit more of a potential, like, oh, like, you know, maybe open arms open fingers like the excitement and then and then you're here and that's the the, the tighter excitement where you got the arms yeah. together but then i would try to not overlap these too much to get a cleaner silhouette for as long as you can like something like that this is the lucky last map and maybe on a turn like that not go so far that you lose that arm so maybe only this far so you can retain um a silhouette there the lucky last map also feels like the head and the body turn as one piece. I would try to, I always say chest, um, pelvis, chest, and head, but you can't really put that egg. So it would just be mainly something in the head. Maybe it would, maybe it would tilt towards us where the head leads towards us. Last map of reading eggs. Can, eggs. Can you believe it? I That's cute. I like that. He goes down. Can you believe it? That excitement. But watch out. It's. It's definitely offset, obviously, in the pose. Like bend and straight does. Well, I'll be careful. Generally, do not have a, a bend tor straight towards camera or away. Because then we don't see the, the structure. This gives us a better idea of there's a bend. This just feels like a short arm and silhouette. But I would just kind of try to avoid double arm like mirror stuff. Can you believe it? I am so... It could also be, like, if he, if he is playful... Instead of, can you believe it? Because you have the fists here, which you had before, here. Just for variety, but also it can make something cuter. It could be, can you believe it? What if the arms are down, hands are flat, and it's almost kind of, not flapping, but kind of, you know, like swinging his arms and kind of tapping the sides of the eggshell in, in excitement. Like, can you believe it? Like that, maybe? I don't know if that's too playful or too, I don't know. I am so proud of you. You have worked so hard and learned so Like that to me seems more like worked so hard where the fists are okay versus the other one. But again, watch out. So why is that arm? It's not as clear structure-wise as this one. Hard and learn so much. It this, I'm not sure. This almost feels like, are you insane? Much. And then that is almost like flipping someone off in some different language. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that will put that in there. So much. If you do, though, watch out. It feels like you're hitting a bit of a sharp wall. Oops, hold on. In the spacing of this, how that hand just kind of stops there. Same thing with this one. Here, here. Bam. It really is a fantastic achievement. Ooh, I like this. I like that gesture there. Going up. With a slight hold. Nice offset in the fingers. And then going up into... Ha, ha, ha. I would just not go over one's eye. Just kind of always keep like that section of the face clear. Achievement. I hope you're it's really nice. Though. I really like this part where he has that gesture and then simultaneously walks backwards. It really is a fantastic achievement. I hope you're also visiting. Yeah, that's cool. I like that a lot. Also clean silhouette and also keeping the arm in front of it and not hiding. Visiting it's cool. Other parts of the reading eggs program. That's great too because you have to go back there, but you're keep keeping it clean here. Eggs program. There's more reading lessons in the Storylands area. Books to read in. I like that too. That you go there, but then don't do much so that the eye goes and then we we can hold and look at it, read it, and there's nothing distracting in terms of movement. Area. Books to read. Watch out. Feels like we're almost off balance there with no recovery of like that foot going further back or something. Watch out, I wouldn't go further than this. Books to read in my program. And words to spell in the skills bank. And yeah, that's great. I like that. It's all very cool. Skills bank and keep zooming along the road. <laughs> that's actually really cute. See, now it makes sense because now 
It's a steering wheel, and it's the kids will get that. Zooming along the road by That's really cute. I like that a lot. Road by completing more driving tests. Oh, child, there's a little bit of a hiccup in terms of the spacing. Oh, somewhere around here. Yeah, how that body goes over. This is a really horrendous color for me to critique you with. <laughs> Where that body goes over here. Right there. If this in real time. More driving if a harsh stop there Driving tests but when you're ready for something new that's cute too by the way we'll lean forward so that that has to go up in the air when you're ready for something new try fast phonics or reading express there are so this is cool too i wonder though if on that point you actually lean towards it so it's everything's leaning and whoa everything is leaning and pointing towards that versus back i personally would bring him closer to the person uh the point of interest because then that way you have somewhere to go when he talks here then you can you can lean back to bring the attention back to him right so you have this you have all of that but he's leaning forward and then well how do i get the audience's eye back to him this arm down might not be enough i mean i'm sure it is but you know, you wouldn't lean back where the head was here, body here, to body here, head here. So the eye really jumps back to him. So many new things to learn. This is generally something I wouldn't do. It's, it's kind of the classic. I mean, not that it's that they're up that high, but it gets into that W pose um, where I would potentially get something else. Phonics or reading Express. There are so many new things to learn in both of these wonderful. But the thing is, you have just a lot of gestures generally. So, I mean, this could also be totally fine. Do this, then he goes over there. That arm just goes down, and then he just swings his arms as he walks. They're just there for balance. To learn in and then they go back up because here's a new important point. Because that way it makes the contrast a bit bigger because that's important. Now I'm talking, then that's important. But then when you talk and you do all this, it just. It kind of dilutes the importance of the gestures. To learn in both of these wonderful new worlds. Keep exploring and keep learning. It's cute. Bye for now. Super cute. Yeah, that's great. All right, that's it. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.